ready? Are you ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a strike. Oh, huge right hand! See if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. Perhaps just looking to recover. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, good work with the knees here by Burrell. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Fist. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Swing and a big miss by Choi. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Single collar tie now. Upper cuts and bunches. We don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one as he lands yet another combination here in the clinch. He lands another uppercut combination in the clinch. He's doing a really good job of finding his spot. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Misses again with a right punch. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. Under two minutes to go. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just misses with the straight right. Throws that kick. Oh, on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people. 
tackle bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Ooh, head kick lands on earth. Oh, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Short. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seen early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. And he continues to work the body here. Big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Beautiful body kick. Barrow goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Joy gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, color tie. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. And that one certainly found the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work. And that's gonna do it! He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is Ladies in. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Bruce Bruce. Liana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by...